Hey everybody, Beyond Your TV here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Zoo Design. In today's episode of Zoo Design, we're going to go ahead and look at some more concept art. But unlike the last few episodes there where they kind of had a theme with like animal bridges and, you know, different things like that. Um, we're just going to kind of do a random, I guess, concept art video where it was kind of like the first episode where I was just kind of collecting different bits of uh, concept art and uh, kind of just sharing them with you. So we're going to do the same thing today. Uh, over the last few weeks, I've been uh, throwing bits of uh, random art into the uh, folder there. And I think I have a good collection now to kind of uh, share with everyone. So without much more rambling on, let's go ahead and jump over to the uh, first picture and take a look at what we have. Alrighty then, so welcome to the bayou it looks like, right? So yeah, for this first one, as you can tell, it's uh, very much kind of bayou inspired there a little bit, I, uh, I think with the uh, different tree roots and stuff like that. But I love how the, we've talked about this in the, uh, the, the Animal Bridge uh, episode of Zoo Design, but we talked about how um, guest paths walking over top of um, habitats and stuff like that. And prior to doing this series, um, I was really under the impression of, especially because of all the zoos that I visited for the most part, that this wasn't a very common theme where you didn't see uh, the guest paths kind of going right through the middle of the paths or like walking over top of it and stuff like that. But in a lot of the more modern concept arts and uh, design art and everything like that that I've seen, uh, this is a lot more common thing there. And I think it's a really interesting um, idea. It's, it's more the idea instead of designing the habitat around how the guests can see it, it's more like designing the habitat first and then throwing the guest in there, you know, or throwing the guest path in there as well. I know they kind of designed them both um, in mind, but it just kind of seems like that's the kind of transition that's like habitat first and then, oh yeah, throw the guest path in there. So you get some really cool interactions even um, between the two paths. If you can see here, there's this upper path here and this lower path here, and they kind of um, meet up every once in a while and stuff like that. But yeah, I really like that idea. And it looks like we have some, let's see, zoom in just a little bit. We have like manatees right through there and we have some otters down here. Not sure what these are right here, but you can see this really nice natural uh, barrier right here with the log right there between the turtles and the, it's like a anteater almost, but it's kind of interesting too, because it looks like this is all one giant um, habitat almost, but if you kind of start breaking it down, again, this is like a natural barrier here. So this is like one habitat there with the waterfall. Waterfall, we have a waterfall. It's an official zoo habitat. There's a waterfall. You know, this little bit smaller one here with the turtles, and then here's the manatees look like they have this big area, and there's probably something here, and then the otters. Um, uh, down there so it's kind of interesting how this is one giant um like ecosphere almost i bet this would be indoors um but then you also have like one two three four about five different animals all within here that lead uh, again into this little building so really like that first piece there let's look at the next one so this next one I can't confirm, but it, this feels like the same kind of um, concept art as the first one here a little bit. Um, so I don't think this is the inside. Um, my first thought is that this is the inside of this building here, but I can't confirm or cannot confirm or deny. Uh, but anyways, I still like this for multiple reasons. Uh, the first, if you look here, uh, these people right up against the edge of the glass here. Um, manatees are not confirmed uh, yet, but I, man, I really hope we get them. <laughs> That'd be really awesome. But we can still look at the general idea here. You, have, you can put a different kind of animal in there and uh, just really like the idea that um, these support columns here, these would be supports here for the um, for the glass there. And um, I just like the idea that they put like, you know, these tree trunks on there, basically these trees on top of them to really um, keep that theme going. And uh, yeah, just like all this dirt pathway and the little bits uh, kind of riding up the side of the glass here. Um, really, really neat ideas to take away for uh, our designs in Planet Zoo. And then if you look at this um, path right here, it looks like it kind of uh, gently goes up a little bit. And uh, that's so that they can eventually look over, you guys can look over into this um, site here with all the birds and stuff like that. A little confused about the uh, big cats over here. Maybe this is like an Asian instead of like a bayou. Maybe this is like an Asia um, kind of uh, habitat there. But yeah, I'm not sure how these, the, the big cats and the manatees and these birds, like where they would be in the same place in the world. But anyways, yeah, so really, really uh, like the ideas there. And if you didn't catch it, this is indoors, so this could be uh, in use, you know, all year round kind of thing. This might be like for a colder area and stuff like that in the world. So let's look at the next area. All right, so this next piece of concept art, um, can't really uh, use this in Planet Zoo quite yet. We can use the same basic uh, design principles, but you, as you can see here, it, there's definitely, it's a, and it's an aquarium. I know it's an aquarium, but again, we can use the same uh, basic design principles where you could have this for an underwater viewing um, habitat for your, you know, you insert animal here that is hippopotamuses, the hippos, perfect. So, um, but uh, I like, I love this idea of the tree trunks, you know, coming through the exhibit uh, glass there. Um, and just, yeah, all this theming, you can see it's uh, big enough for a, a guest to walk under and stuff like that. And they continue it here. Just everywhere you look, they really transport you to feel like you're, you know, underwater, where, you know, where these animals live all the time. And since it's an aquarium, they want you to be underwater. And you can see that with the uh, lighting that they do as well on the ground here, they'll probably be that kind of, um, 
I don't even know how to explain it, but if, if you've been to like a theme park or something where they've uh, transported you underwater or a zoo, you know that kind of uh, the light that they show on the ground that uh, makes you feel like you're underwater there. And the other thing I'd like to take away from this is the uh, education uh, facilities that they have here. So we have to worry about education in Planet Zoo, um, absolutely, uh, for sure. But uh, what, we don't really have a wide variety, I guess, of um, our education uh, facilities. Um, but I think it'd be kind of neat to take away from this is that with our uh, building materials that we'll, we're going to be getting in uh, Planet Zoo, we'll probably be able to uh, recreate some of these really neat little uh, education hubs. You know, they have this one here, uh, back along the wall there, uh, one right here. So, um, you know, even though we might be, in my opinion, a little bit limited as of right now for our education things, it doesn't mean that we can't build them later on um, you know with just art shapes and other building pieces so let's look at the next piece of uh, concept art okay so this next piece of uh, concept art here is just a little bit different I haven't really shown this off on the channel but I've been seeing these every once in a while and they're just they're definitely a little bit more unique than the typical uh, zoo concept art that we look at so this is like a side angle if you can't tell so you can see that this is your underwater viewing area for the uh, guests here. And this is your glass wall here and glass wall here. And again, it just kind of shows the a side view of how everything will be viewed from a uh, from a guest perspective. So you can see that they're gonna be able to view out here into the otter exhibit, um, over here to the salmon tanks. And then this is a little bit confusing here, but I think, uh, you know, the bald eagle aviary, I think that um, this is a path right here and guests will be able to stand here and look out. And the, uh, the bald eagle aviary kind of encompasses this whole area. So perhaps it's like a mixed use um, habitat with the bald eagle and the uh, otters kind of you know the eagle being able to fly around if it can fly sometimes a lot of the times the um, the eagles that they have are not able to fly around and stuff but anyways yeah there's um there's a few of these out here that I've seen um, with these side angle views and it's just a really uh, different uh, cool take on um, the design aspect of it there so let's look at the next one Okay, this next one is pure, almost not complete fantasy, but you know, it's definitely out there as far as our uh, concept arts have gone. Uh, this is for a, an aquarium that is has not been built yet, but I think it's in the planning stages still. Um, but yeah, a little bit more grandiose of a concept art there. You know, not so uh, technical showing, you know, all the different uh, parameters and all that fun stuff. But anyways, yeah, just a little bit more grandiose. So for those of you that, you know, love the, like the Rudy Rinkamel builds of uh, huge islands and all uh, floating islands and you know the kind of more again just kind of grandiose and not totally fantasy because it is grounded in reality and it could be built but a little bit more fantasy uh, fantasy type builds uh, this kind of um, gets your itch there but again this is a uh, uh, an aquarium I can't, I can't remember where it's going to be uh, proposed to be built at but uh, yeah just uh, nice something a little bit different that I thought was really really cool looking there so let's get the, ne uh, the next one there okay so this next one was um I sh it should have been featured in the uh, animal bridges uh, concept art video but I just found it um last night actually I thought it was really, really cool. It's a little bit blurry and hard to tell, but if you can look right here, this is actually an elephant bridge. And that is something I never even considered because I mean, you know, they're elephants and they weigh a lot, like they weigh as much as an elephant. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, the really, really cool idea to have, um, I don't know if this was built or not, but um, really cool idea to have the uh, elephants be able to go between this, um, this area here and then probably over to a different enrichment area or, you know, different side of their habitat. So I won't spend too much time on that. I just thought that was a really neat idea. And I I like the theming of it too with the the chains and the kind of um old rickety kind of feel to it a little bit there so all right this next one here is uh, another animal that has not been confirmed yet for the game which is a penguin exhibit here but i do love the look of this modern kind of sleek design to this whole area um, and again just because the penguins haven't been confirmed doesn't mean that you know you can apply a different uh small underwater animal that uh could, could definitely fill in this area but I love the idea if you kind of start looking around here, it's a little bit blurry, but you see this bubble right here. There's a little kiddo right in there because there's a little crawl up space to uh, kind of go right in the middle of the penguin habitat. We've seen this idea in uh, other concept arts, but I think it's just still such a cool little thing and I hope we can somehow pull it off there. If you look over here, this little kid here, they are going to go into like a little crawl tunnel and I'm sure that'll go and have um, like a glass tube that will you'll be able to look at, you know, different animals and stuff like that. Um, as they're swimming around you there. So two really cool ideas there uh, with that. You have this multi-level uh, up here. You have, it looks like this is all like one big glass pane that goes around, but just for the guests sake, you can kind of go up here and uh, take a look at the animals from two different perspectives. And then down here, it looks like, um, it goes down into like an amphitheater almost. And you see this a lot where, you know, you'll have the, the animal exhibit over this way, but then down here they'll have like a movie showing or, you know, just like a little amphitheater. So you can sit down here and be like this lady and just really ponder life and be like, yeah, penguins. 
I feel ya. And then I did mention this in um, I, one of the other concept art videos, but you're starting to see this a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't know if it's just like maybe zoos are hiring the same uh, design firm or something like that. And this design firm really likes this, but um, you see this a lot with the new kind of houses with uh, these just random jagged lines kind of going through, um, you know, big, clear glass roof with uh, random lines shooting through it. You see it a lot in um, a lot of the uh, new modern uh, zoo art design videos. So, but anyways, really great look at that little place there. So let's look at the next one. Okay, so this is gonna be a two-parter here. The next two pictures uh, line up together. So this is a look at a uh, lowland gorilla uh, habitat. And there's a two, the two parts are gonna be looking at this main uh, overview of it. So you have this moat right here. So you can see that this is the actual gorilla area right out in here but then they have the water moat surrounding it so that the gorillas can't get around and then th these are the um your guests walking and stuff like that and lookout points and this is a really really good detail i know it's gonna be a little bit blurry but i'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so you can see but this is a really detailed um great detailed look at um a zoo master plan for a habitat there so you can see where they could put all the logs all the trees um you know they've even marked here here's our fallen log area and here's our lowland habitat and this is all that fun stuff there so really Really great um, user, you know, viewing structure right down here. Looks like a themed up viewing structure. See how it's right up against there, <clears throat> showing the different views there. So there you go. And then the next picture is the structure right up here. Just a little bit closer look. And I think this is great because this is something that we're gonna need to kind of think about, especially again, if you're building the way that like myself and Geekism and Mass Bandit and um, you know, all those uh, S. Dan Wolf and all those creators are gonna be doing, uh, we're, we're gonna kind of want to think about the house or the uh, areas that we're going to be storing, or I guess not storing, but where the animals would go at nighttime, basically, right? Now, we don't have to fully think about this in Planet Zoo, um, but for those of us that are wanting to build the quote-unquote like realistic kind of um, zoos, we might want to take into account um, how they lay out their uh, holding areas for the animals. So, and here you can see this is the main room right here. Uh, number five is the um, the indoor enclosure. Oh, this, I'm sorry. Um, but the two is the training cages right here. So they have training cages, the main area then they have all these holding cages or the separation rooms right down through here um, so yeah you just you see how they really have to manage you know how to get the gorillas in and out and how they're gonna um, hold them in different separation uh, areas where their training area is you have a you know your staff rooms and uh, the kitchen here to um, for them the uh, the visitors can come in right here and kind of take a look you can see where the glass is right there and right there so the, uh, the visitors get a look at the uh, the kitchen staff and the where the gorillas hang out um, indoors and stuff like that so you kind of have to think about this kind of stuff as you're if you're wanting to design um, on that aspect I thought that was a really great um, breakdown of uh, how that looks on the indoor there so and then last but not least, this is the final concept art that we're gonna look at uh, for today's episode. And it's of pandas. And uh, mainly because uh, I really like how this looks, but the uh, the main reason is that I did see that pandas have been pretty like confirmed, unconfirmed uh, kind of thing uh, with, with a few uh, data leaks there. So uh, I thought it would be interesting to kind of end it on that because I just saw that bit of information. And I love pandas, they're amazing. And this is an amazing exhibit too. And it just feels right, doesn't it just, like we we know we're getting the Asian theme in Planet Zoo, so it just feels right that we get the uh, the big pandas here to go into it. So, uh, but I thought this was really a really neat bit of uh, education uh, information here, where it's uh, you know they eat this every single day, they eat this much uh, bamboo, just this much right here. It's just, uh, that's a really neat little education uh, bit of information there. So get these great views into their habitat there as they're nom nomming on some bamboo, and then you also get the secondary view um, looks like back here uh, with this uh, nice uh, indoor uh, habitat as well or indoor enclosure as well so um but yeah no that's uh, overall that's gonna do it there hopefully some of these pieces of concept art uh, helped you out as we uh, are coming close to our planet zoo release date there and uh, yeah, hopefully you can apply them and use them for your upcoming zoos but uh yeah hey we're gonna go ahead and uh, get on out of here but thanks so much everyone for hanging out as always i always do appreciate it and until the next episode of zoo design have a good one thanks